So what is going on guys? We are back with more franchise and as you can see it is the match against Bengal both 4 and 1. We did have some issues getting into this but if you do want to see Bengal's side of it as well um, you know go to his video because I'm assuming he's gonna have some great commentary for it and you know just subscribe to him as he's a great content creator and a personal pal of mine and uh, you will see at least another matchup in the franchise between me and him and uh, let's, I mean, let's get into the game. The game's already started, so I don't know what we're waiting for. As once again, we start out very poorly going against his great team. And his team is great. He actually did a really good job with the, the Texans. They're already pretty decent, but he did really well. And we almost got a pick, and we didn't. He was kind of he was kind of playing off our linebackers, trying to say our linebackers are bad. So can he prove that right or not? As he's already proven a touchdown to be worthy but he did get the ball first, so that you know that's expected, especially against a good opponent like Bengal. Starting off with a run early, and that's something we really don't like to do. But we do have a user matchup, meaning the sliders aren't really going to be as much of a factor as they normally are. But we still get sacked. <laughs> Our offensive line still an issue, but it is against the Texans, one of the best defenses in the league. As we get sacked once again, it's a fumble. It is recovered by us. So Bengal scoring very quickly. We cannot do the same. As we do come with a blitz here, Hopkins over the middle. I don't know why Jalen jumped, and that's a 57-yard touchdown. Bengals celebrating a little bit. I'll fucking kill you, bro. I will kill you. I'm just kidding. I won't do that because I, I kind of need you here. <laughs> kind of need you as my opponent. Um, Dre Archer, though, trying to get something going. Tiptoeing in his Nikes, not his Jordans because they don't wear that that's that's like a basketball shoe i guess they don't have to have to be a basketball shoe but early on hunley already throwing incompletions after incompletions but derrick henry the tank himself eating his wheaties this week as he is already off to a pretty damn good start second and 12 a is wide open kinda it's a decent throw and it is caught by julius thomas our favorite target and Derrick Henry outside again, running over another person. Absolutely wrecking shop this game so far. First and goal, five yards away. We're going to go with a pitch. Bengal looking to come up the middle, and he does. Gross. That was so nasty of me to say. No celebration from us, because we're classy. That's right. That's right, Bengal. We're classy. I was kind of like re reaffirming myself there. I didn't even know what I was saying half the time. Once again, wide open again is another touchdown as DeAndre Hopkins showing why he's one of the best receivers in the league. Definitely underrated. I want to see what he's going to do this year with more targets around him and a decent quarterback. Terrible decision by me there to throw that curl on the fade, but Hundley does a great job there. A wide open, not really. Motion to the left. I know Bengal absolutely loves that when he sees a little bit of weird, unrealistic stuff. Although, something like that is realistic in real life. It's just there was no hand motion. Second and one, four yards away, and Julius Thomas, as he always is, getting himself a touchdown. And I'm happy about it because Julius is a freak. And, um, yeah, you're already going to see third and six, though, a sack, though. You're already going to see DeAndre Hopkins on the thumbnail as he's already performed way better than I've seen anyone perform Another errant throw by Hunley, though. Wide open for at least 20. I know there's pressure all game, but still, Hunley, you got to make the throw sooner or later. And he doesn't again. So, fourth and seven after a huge stop. I do show the punt, though. It's either a big play or a boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And uh, it is down to the one-yard line, and that's why we show it. What a punt. The punter showing that he's the best player so far. As he runs it up the middle, and we do get the stop. Tayshawn Gibson starting it off and the d-line finishing it so we are only down by five with a chance to score before halftime can we do it though derrick henry wide open over the side and trucking people running over everyone even his own teammate derrick henry is not going to be denied he is going to do his very best to win this game and right bumper wide open and Hunley again. I don't know what to tell you. I could have thrown to be there and they would have maybe had a chance, but Hunley, you got to make the throw. Derrick Henry cutting out and then cutting back in. It was the cho the choice of champions, to be honest, because there wasn't enough room outside. Third and one, trying to get the first down. Derrick Henry gets popped in the middle by Bengal, but Bengal can't make the tackle as Derrick Henry does extend the drive. 11 seconds left. Can we get a touchdown? A is wide open, and once again, the throw. It was all right, but we obviously wanted to hit the end zone. We don't, 
but we do get the field goal and we get the ball at half. If you remember, Bengal did get the ball first. Curl route on third and four. Very catchable. Of course, he doesn't get it. But once again, another great punt as we pin him to the four-yard line. But we're not going to be able to get him. That could be a touchdown. Bengal stops on the play. He told me during uh, the game, we were on Twitter, and he told me that his fingers actually slipped off the controller. And believe it or not, it happens to me a lot too. As once, like, you look back at that curl route, and now you're starting to think, okay, maybe he should have caught that. Allen Robinson, Jalen Strong. I know Jalen's been playing really well for him. If you watch his videos, you'll know that. But still, come on now. As uh, Bengal does make it a two-possession lead there. And on third and six, we get sacked almost. His pressure, I wouldn't say it's necessarily his pressure. His pressure is good. It's the Texans' defense is amazing, and he's got a really damn good team. But just our offensive line and our quarterback play has just been absolutely horrendous. Kind of like that user play by me, T. Hunter Hopkins, with another 30-plus yard catch. Uh, it was a really unlucky situation there. As he does throw it deep. That looks to be picked. And what are you doing? I don't even know who that is. But he misses the easy pick. Bengal drives down the field. And over the middle right past me. Down to the two yard line. This should be an easy touchdown. With three seconds left in the half. He throws a corner fade to Jalen Strong. That is another touchdown on Jalen Strong's amazing rookie uh, career so far. Rookie season at least. Um, it is his career still. Bengal bumping A. Couldn't get him open. Uh, that happened quite a bit. I don't think Bengal was trying to do that because he wasn't really in user coverage all that much. As we get a wide open throw down the middle. But uh, he just bumped the player every once in a while. It did fuck our routes up, but that's all right. As another Aaron throw. Third and ten. We still have a chance to win this game. But I can't get a throw, and I don't know what happened there. I don't understand how that was a pick. Our guy was in front of it. I, I just don't know. And that's another wide open player. Who is it? Believe it to be Jalen Strong yet again. That's the thing we've learned so far is we need a new all O line. Quarterback play needs to be consistent. Decent throw there, not bad at all. And we need a new wide out. We have decent overall wide outs, but they're not good enough. Throwing into coverage. Bengal moving his player out of the way. I don't know what the hell he was thinking on that one. As we're throwing a bomb, it would appear. Third and four, we get sacked again absolutely destroyed fourth and 14 is the fourth quarter which so we are going for it wide open Hearns I believe over the side barely gonna pass the guy in the flat second and 12 we're coming with some more predictable plays and our quarterback play is so bad we can't even just throw up a jump ball like it it never gets in play like I would say five out of every seven throws is incomplete just off of inaccuracy once again Another wide open player, and it just doesn't happen. X wide open again, another overthrow. I mean, let's be honest, we probably would have lost anyways, but if we had more consistent QB play, we would have had a chance as we do get a pick. Linebacker number one pick, Bruce Irvin getting a pick. We got a right bumper wide open, and another missed throw. How do you win a game of Madden when you can't make a throw? It is franchise, so you, you know, it's. It's kind of on us. I should have threw the Y over the middle, and I didn't get it. J.J. Watt picks up the fumble. He's going to go for a touchdown. Celebrating in the end zone is Bengal. And that is a 50-burger. Or is it? It is overturned, as apparently we were down. Thank you, Jesus. I, I don't know if I can handle having 50 points put up on me. And we get a jump bait. I know Bengal will disagree with it, but you got to call it a bait. I mean, he didn't expect me to jump down in there. But once again, speaking of those linebackers, Bengal, Telvin, and Irvin got a pick. And speaking of picks, it threw one right back. Great timing for me to tell you that. <laughs> so we do have a pick with two of the three starting linebackers. Third and ten, we get a sack, which is amazing. And we do get the ball back. Pretty much just fighting for dignity here, and not much dignity is going to come out of that as we almost get safety. That would have been really embarrassing. And second and goal, Bengal rolling out with Osweiler. He's going to throw it, and he gets picked off, and you would not believe it. That makes every single starting linebacker of ours having a pick on Bengal here near the end of the game. That is a crazy. Every single linebacker. That's Penedrick McKenney on the user for Bengal does get a sack we bomb it to y and once again 
whether or not it's a good read doesn't matter. The fact that we can't get the throw off is ridiculous. Like, how are we not coming close? But that is going to be your final. Of course, Bortles will be back for the next matchup against Bengal, which, believe it or not, is Week 17. That could decide the division, although the Titans are leading. So um, the Titans, I believe, are 6-1 and one right now. Um, very ridiculous. Or maybe 5-1. and one. I'll tell you right now, they're 7-2 and two currently in the league. That doesn't really give away too much. And I do have a user matchup against them, and I need to win badly. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you do want to see uh, Bengals' side of it, check out his channel in the description. He might have it up a little bit later. It might already be up. Who knows? But uh, definitely check out his content as he has some great stuff over there. And he's been growing really quickly lately with a lot of his different unique stuff. Like he's got his rebuilds that are going on. Like they're doing better than like some of the top famous YouTubers that can literally put no effort into their videos and get views while Bengals busting his ass off. And he does stream his stuff too on Twitch as well. You could find all that on his channel. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. Um, if you are new to the channel, maybe subscribe, hit like, and share if you wish. And uh, it does help a lot. But hopefully you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya! So what is going on guys? We're back with another video. This is more franchise. So guys, welcome back to another video. We are on Madden Ultimate Team, but technically we're on Mudhead as uh, that's the place to go when you're looking for new cards that aren't up on the auction block yet. So uh, yeah, you just watched one of my videos. Um, you, you could probably leave now. There's nothing really here left for you other than maybe like and subscribe or something. Bye!